Shaky and Stevens. Mm, shaky. When you found Shaky, he wasn't doing a lot, was he? He was in an Elvis show, funny Well, enough. before that, he'd been with Track Records. Do you remember? Really? Shaky and Stevens and the Sunsets were on track. Okay. Which originally had been Chris Stamp and um, an offshoot of that lot. Te Chris was Terence's brother. Chris was his brother. Chris Stamp, and I forgot the other guy's name. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. But he'll come back when yeah. we're finished. And... Um, no. Which artist are we talking about here? Shaky Stevens. Shaky. I'm as bad as Shaky. Shaky was like that then. Track Records asked me if I'd do some rock and roll tracks with Shaky. So I did. I did an album on track. Nothing happened with it. Got some radio play, but nothing happened with it. Next thing that happens is I get this phone call saying, I'm in this show in London, Elvis, he said. Because Elvis had just died. They got the music along with the... Um, a story at Charing Cross Road. So Shaky says, would you come and see it? So I came to see it. He was fantastic. I don't care what anybody says about Shaky and Stevens. You couldn't deny it. When you watched him on stage as Elvis, he was fantastic. He swung down on a rope from one of the boxes at the side all the way around across the stalls, not with a safety harness, hanging onto a rope. And he was just fantastic. So I went to see it, loved it. Went backstage to see him. I said, what's happening? He said, he said, I, I got no manager. I said, really? He said, yeah, and I'm being paid £100 a week. I said, I'm sorry to repeat that. He said, I'm being paid £100 a week. I said, you're the star of this show. You £100 a week? You've got to sell out audiences? I said, ridiculous. He said, will you help me? So I said, sure. I said, if you want a manager, I'll manage you. So we signed a contract. I went to see Brian Ricks, who ran the theatre of the Astoria. I said, I'm managing uh, Shaky now. He said, yeah, what can I do for you? I said, you didn't give him more money for a starter. He said, I have a contract. I said, it's worthless. I said, he'll just say he's unwell every night, won't do your show, we'll get doctor's certificates. That'll be that. You don't want that trouble. He said, well, what do you suggest? I said, a lot more than uh, 100. I said, add a naught. He said, what? I said, Adam Norton, I pay him a thousand pounds a week because he's still had plenty of money in it for you. Finally decided you paid him that. Then we didn't have a record deal. He's a star of a big West End musical. He's got no record deal. I go into CBS, see Dan Loggins, head of ANR. I said, Dan, I said, Shakin Stevens. He said, oh, yeah, he was American, Dan Loggins. He said, yeah, another one of these Elvis impersonators. I said, hey, you haven't seen him. I said, I'll take you to see the show. He said, really? He said, do I want to see the show? I said, yeah, you do. I took him to see the show. Came out just like the story I gave you earlier about uh, people, Dick Leahy. Yeah. He looked at me and said, what deal do you want? I said, what you got? Yeah. Said, we did a deal within 24 hours. Shaky had it, signed to CBS. Bang. Yeah, it's again, well, it's kind of your determination as well, not giving up. If you saying, believe in something. Yeah. Yes. Which and I do. somehow you can take people part of the road with you and then they have to make their decision because sure. it's their budget. They want to invest in that. Sure. They want, they want to put their time and money into it. But yeah, and of course, he went on to be a very big star. I don't know how many hits he had, but he had an awful lot. God, he was the biggest selling singles artist of the 1980s in the UK. Yeah. And he was a bit like Shawadi Wadi. He never really was hip as such. No. But a lot of people loved him and bought his records. No. That's right. That's right. That's that difficult crossover between commercialism and artistic integrity. It's always been a problem. People have always said to me uh, about that, why did you do groups like Shawadi Wadi or, or Shaking Stevens? Why? I said, because audiences like them, audiences love them. That's why yes. I said, it's not because I'm setting myself up on a pedestal saying, I only do good music. What, is, what does that mean? What, what is good music? Yes. Music is what you want it to be. That's all. Yeah. There's no great sort of state secret about it. It's what you want it to be. And what's good music for one person? It's not for another. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah.